now, Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. 617 on your Wednesday morning. Here's how it looks across the region. Three places looks like look like somewhere you might want to be right now. One does not. So lots of sunshine for Sun Valley and Twin Falls. We've got sunshine and looking out over uh, downtown Boise. A little bit of cloud cover hanging, but the sun is breaking through. Check out Redfish Lake. This is a scene right now. Look how dark and ominous looking it is right now. And that's because there is some ominous weather rolling through the Sawtooth right now in the Stanley region. We've had thunderstorms firing off pretty much all morning long in the East Central Mountains. Now those same storms rolled through the Treasure Valley uh, very early this morning, causing a little bit of a light show once again and some quick moving rain. But if we zoom in just a bit on Western Custer County, look at the Stanley area, Redfish Lake picking up lightning strikes, heavy rain. You see parts of Boise County and even Northern uh, Blaine County picking up a little bit of rain as well right now, but still some locally gusty winds are happening. Several lightning strikes. There's been about 30 in this cluster right here and we keep seeing them fire off. So there is just some kind of some nasty weather rolling through the central mountains this morning. Hopefully uh, all the campers up there, all the recreationists were prepared for some unsettled weather. It will continue for the next little bit in the central mountains. Of course, still flood warnings in place for many of those rivers and streams there. We have also added a red flag warning into the mix for this area just north of Twin Falls of Pocatello. The National Weather Service in Pocatello issued that red flag warning for low humidity and high winds expected today so that fire weather the danger for it is very, very high, very real, and we will stay dry today. And of course, the lightning out there, if it comes along with rain, it's not as scary, but some of that dry lightning can still spark fires as we just saw a couple of days ago. Through the mid morning hours, we'll see the chance of some showers stick around for the Sun Valley area, Wood River Valley. You may pick up a couple more showers still before this is all said and done. As we roll forward, though, all the way into Thursday evening, we'll see a lot of sunshine throughout the Treasure Valley tomorrow. We don't expect even any cloud cover. Few clouds clouds, a few showers may roll through the central mountains tomorrow evening, but after that it's smooth sailing as our heat starts to rebuild. So it'll look beautiful, but it is going to be very hot once again this weekend, scorching heading into the 4th of July holiday today. Not as scorching, pretty seasonable actually mid to upper 80s for the Treasure Valley. Some breezy conditions out there with those northwest winds increasing throughout the day up to about 10 or 20 miles per hour. 78 for Idaho City today, 74 for Pine and Featherville, mostly sunny skies and a very slim chance of a storm or two in the West Central Mountains. 72 for McCall this afternoon. Stanley, after all the storm activity is done this morning, we'll get to 70 this afternoon. 74 for all of you in the Sun Valley, Haley, Ketchum area. 81 for Twin Falls and Shoshone today. Burley will top off at 79 degrees. Nice tomorrow as well. 84 degrees, a perfect summer day tomorrow. And then here comes that heat. We'll be back into the mid 90s by Saturday. Upper 90s to kick off next week. 92 with sunshine for your 4th of July forecast.